Welcome to Tuesday, the 10th day of October 2023, your day weather podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily, Wyoming's only statewide newspaper. Get your free digital subscription by hitting the subscribe button at CowboyStateDaily.com. Well, we'll have another really good day, but enjoy today because big, big changes are coming. The beautiful weather, and it really has been gorgeous, has led to a lot of beautiful photos just like that and more nice photos to come, but we are going to be looking at a very energetic and quick-moving storm system digging southeast into the Rockies. It's going to be pushing into the Pacific Northwest Coast today, into the Great Basin and Interior West tomorrow, and then really overspreading the area very quickly as we get into Wednesday night and into Thursday. The western areas of the divide tomorrow will start to see the clouds and the showers and the cooler weather really start to come on in. Then as the storm jumps the divide, we'll get an area of low pressure that forms over northeast Colorado. It's going to be quite wet with this storm for portions of central, northern, and eastern Wyoming, South Dakota, and parts of North Dakota, and also Nebraska. I forgot to leave uh, put Nebraska in. Nebraska will be quite wet. Hunters and travelers, be prepared. Certainly folks in the high country of Wyoming and Colorado in particular, but also the Black Hills of South Dakota, there's going to be significant high elevation snow with this storm. It's not a terribly cold storm, but certainly the higher elevations will be high enough and cold enough for significant snow. Just in time for the weekend, the weather will clear and better weather will be ahead for the weekend. So just beautiful fall colors. Here's a shot from the Black Hills and another beautiful shot from the Wheatland area of the changing fall colors and that just beautiful light we're getting in the late afternoon and evenings. The low there just off of Vancouver Island there is going to just take its time spinning around today before really accelerating tonight and tomorrow. As we showed you yesterday, those strong jet stream winds digging off the North Pacific into the Pacific Northwest coming our way. This log jam of this big low up here over northeastern areas of Canada going to help this low kind of sneak south instead of merging with it. And as that happens, it digs in and becomes quite an impressive storm system. And it's very impressive on the satellite imagery this morning, as you can see there. But also, other than these high clouds right here, we still have a lot of sunshine and very nice weather for another day today. But by Thursday morning, we have the upper level low just northeast of Salt Lake City. It comes in, closes off. You can see what we call closed contours right here and the circulation is beginning to form. And the counterclockwise rotation, the storm starts to get itself better organized and put together. So during the course of the day Wednesday, the low really comes into the Pacific Northwest. Overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning is when the storm really gets going. And by Thursday afternoon, you can see it basically moves due east from northeast to Salt Lake City to right around oh, a McCook, Nebraska area, and then closes off and becomes tighter. You can see that it's a tighter circulation. So it's not a big storm from a geographical scale, but on the northwest and the northern side of the storm system is where you're gonna see the heavier precipitation in that axis right there. Cold air pours in, as I mentioned earlier, it's not a terribly cold storm. This will keep snow levels fairly high, but certainly gonna be cold enough to put out a good swath of precipitation and what is going to be significant moisture on an arch here from the east side of the divide into Montana across central and northern Wyoming. Then we talked about Nebraska, South Dakota areas here really getting quite wet. Look at these rain totals. That is going to be a very wet storm system and it's also going to extend into parts of the northern Corn Belt as well. And you can see the major mountain ranges, the Bighorns, uh, the Northwest Mountains of Wyoming, the Wind Rivers, the Sierra Madres, the Snowy Range in the mountains of Northern Colorado going to get into the act and also up into the Black Hills. And you'll see that in the snowfall forecast. The snowfall forecast with this storm shows that the snow levels are going to be relatively high, but cold enough right here along the Pine Ridge and eastern areas of Wyoming to get out into the plains. But you get up near the divide and the higher elevations there uh, we're going to see the first significant snow of the season. And focusing in, you can see the high Black Hills will see significant snow, the Bighorns as well. But all of the pink there showing where a lot of hunters are right now. So those hunters need to be prepared for this significant first real taste of winter up high. It's a fairly quick moving system. 
So it's not going to linger too long, but it will be impactful and certainly an abrupt change from what we've been enjoying here lately. Here's the high pressure returning for the weekend. The low is all the way back into the Great Lakes now. High pressure builds in. And so what we're going to see is the great weather today, go to bad weather for a couple of three days, good weather return for the weekend, and then the next low, the next frontal system is right around Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And we'll keep an eye on this system and see where it goes. So the pattern of a more active fall system or two coming up here over the next couple of weeks looks to be coming to fruition. Have yourself a good Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow.